Hey gang, Dirty Rob from the West Michigan Trail Runners and the Gazelle Sports Dirty Herd here with my first video of 2016, so a happy new year to all. Uh, today, before we get into our topic of the day, quick programming note, as you'll notice I'm not in the grove behind the store anymore, nor will I be going forward. I'm going to shoot these from the house, different locations around the yard maybe, working on a little backdrop in my office. Today I'm in the living room, so I apologize if you see some ears, eyes, a tail wandering around behind me somewhere. There are a couple dogs and a couple cats wandering around the house who were curious during my earlier takes of this video, who will probably come back and check out what goes on the longer I talk. That being said, let's move into this video's focus. Snowshoes and snowshoe running. If you haven't gone running in snowshoes yet, what is wrong with you? As a trail runner, I would fully expect that you should try this at least once, and I fully expect you're going to fall in love with it. Let's talk about why and why it's the best thing going when the snow is deep. First of all, great calorie burn, great strength, strength building exercise, and great form building. You cannot heel strike in a snowshoe. This doesn't happen. Your foot is going to land flat, probably on your forefoot a little bit the faster you run, but it's not heel striking. So it's great at improving your form. Last thing, traction. Point number four is the traction. You can see the teeth. You can see the cleats. You will not spend any time on your butt in these. You will spend all your time on your feet, which is the point of running. Uh, so if it's snow, icy, whatever, get a pair of these on your feet. You'll have a great workout. You'll be very stable. And you'll improve your form. What more do you want in an exercise? All right. Let's talk about finding the right snowshoe. So you want a running snowshoe or a racing snowshoe. They're kind of one and the same. Obviously, racing are going to be a little lighter, a little smaller. A little more expensive. You do not want a hiking snowshoe for two particular reasons. One, hiking snowshoes are going to be based off of your weight and the weight you're going to carry. Because they want the highest amount of float, I uh, keep you on top of the snow. So if you go into your outdoor store and you tell them you want hiking snowshoes, they're going to ask you how much you weigh, how much you're going to carry, because they want to keep you on as much snow as possible and not let you sink into it. Those snowshoes are big. Running snowshoes or racing snowshoes are all one size fits all. So my size 14 shoe, 6'4", 190 pound frame is going to be wearing the same snowshoe as you no matter how big you are. It's one size fits all. So all for the pros and cons, deal with it. It's the way it works. All right? Tough luck. Second thing is the hinging system. When you step, lift your foot with a hiking snowshoe, the snowshoe will drop to a vertical position to drop snow. In a running snowshoe, when you lift your foot, the snowshoe stays with you. Does not drop. So it gives you more stable footing, keeps you more dialed in so you're not dealing with this flapping, flying, giant snowshoe hanging off the end of your foot. Uh, if you ever watch a video of a snowshoe race, you'll see snow flying everywhere over the heads of the competitors, and you'll wonder why. That is why. This hinge has flexibility to it, but does not drop the snowshoe. Won't do it. The snowshoe is going to stay with your foot so you're more stable, more balanced, a little more athletic position. Right, right. So, now we know why you want to do it, what kind of snowshoe you want, let's talk specific, specific models. My choice, the Dion 121. I love this thing, it's great. I love it for many reasons. One, it's the smallest allowable snowshoe by the USSA. Seven inches wide, 21 inches long, one pound, 10 ounces for the pair without bindings, a little over two pounds with all the bindings and the cleats. 121 functional, surface 121 inches of functional surface area that's how they rank or that's how they grade out the snowshoes so this thing is fantastic durable lightweight goes fast best thing going uh the velcro system on this has been fantastic this is not my first pair of snowshoes and i have not enjoyed sorry i got a kitty sticking his head in there i've not enjoyed the binding systems for my previous pairs because my foot slides around and by the end of the run my foot's kind of cockeyed on the snowshoe and this thing uh, is actually surprisingly good. It actually held very well. Uh, I like it a lot. It does the job. Uh, but that being said, last thing I'll say about it today, the Dion 121, my favorite snowshoe there is, is if you look around, a lot of snowshoers bolt their shoes to their snowshoes. They take the whole binding system off, they drill some holes in the bottom of their favorite shoes, take these two little bolts right off, put them right through the shoe, right on there, so the shoe stays on the snowshoe at all times. Um... Yes, you have to commit a pair of shoes to your snowshoes and you can't take them off. And there are lots of reasons why you might not want to do it. I understand all of them. 
But in my mind, it is the best, most responsive ride you're going to get. I did it in my last couple pairs, probably because the binding systems are so terrible. I loved it. I still think bolting snowshoes, bolting shoes to your snowshoes is better than a binding system. Sorry, Bob Dean, I know you don't want to hear that, but I'm going to do it again. Um, if I rip out the shoes, I'll have to strap another pair on there. No big deal. So that's it, guys. The Dion 121. Best deal out there. Check them out right now. Get out in the snow. Get outside. Remember, there's no bad weather, only bad gear. And that goes for your feet as well. So check them out online. They have a very informative website. Great team over there to get you set up if you want your first pair of snowshoes or just a new, better pair of snowshoes. So that's it. Happy New Year, guys. Again, I'm Dirty Rob. I'm out. I'll see you next week.